Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Well, before we start with today's subject, just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. And if you continue to watch, all will become clear in a little while. Well, very interesting few days in the Middle East, isn't it? What's going on? It's actually quite concerning. I, as I said yesterday in a video where I said, somebody please help me. I don't generally talk about things I don't understand or I can't give an educated opinion on, but that doesn't stop me from discussing them. We have this situation, don't we, where Iran launched, well, literally hundreds of drones, ballistic mi missiles and Christ knows what else in the direction of Israel. And from what I'm reading, the majority of which with no part, small help from the RAF and uh, the US military forces as well managed to intercept and shoot down quite a large majority of them. Some of the footage of that you can see on my Tusi's channel who's quite ahead of reporting what's going on. Now we know according to the mainstream media at least that what seems to be happening is it's a case of Israel is going to react. Now Iran when they did it they said right that's it it's over. We're not going to go any further down this line. This is a retaliatory strike in return for what you did to us with our embassy, where it got flattened, according to the mainstream news. But that is uh, a little bit debatable, depending on where you look at the sources. You look at the mainstream news as well. The narrative seems to be along the lines of the fact that somebody somewhere wants a giant massive conflict and it's heading towards that point. I mean, I read a thing in one of the local newspapers that there are five ways in which Israel could go and have a go back at Iran. And Iran basically said, you know, when we've done what we've done, that's it, end of story. We're not gonna go anymore. And looking at Israel's past track record if you have a look at what they've done particularly in the aftermath of October the 7th all of these people that came into Israel and let's face it the atrocities that were carried out on that day Israel went absolutely crazy and you look at the situation within Gaza now you know in my mind they had every right to defend themselves you know when you spend your life driving around the M25 as an airport taxi driver. Yeah, that's me, by the way. It's very important to forget to eat properly and worry about nutrition. And you can very much fall into the trap of what they call the service station diet. And for somebody like me that's struggled with their weight most of their adult life, it's gone up and down pretty much consistently. That's no good. So I thought I'd give HelloFresh a try. Fresh make it so simple to order the food. You go on their website, order what you want. It could be more straightforward. And they've got all their meal plans uh, divided into categories. So you choose the one according to your lifestyle. Could be protein rich, could be calorie controlled, could be quick. Everything you know, is ready in as little as 15 minutes when you cook it. Once you've got everything ordered through HelloFresh and pay for it, it gets delivered to you in a box. Well, here's the HelloFresh box right here. So I'm going to take it in the kitchen and see what's inside. First thing you notice when you look in the box is all these lovely recipe cards. Each one tailor made for the meal that you've chosen. You can see the picture of what it'll look like and all the ingredients. And if you turn over, you can see step-by-step -step instructions exactly what to do at every stage. They couldn't make it any simpler. And uh, let's see how it will turn out. Well, you can see here we're getting the onions nice and caramelised, really tasty, ready to get mixed up with everything else. Time to add the pork mix and the beans together in the good stir. Well, there you go, there it is, mixed all the ingredients together. I have to say, it looks absolutely delicious. Time to get it on a plate. There you go, job done. 
yogurt did come with it as well, but I'm not a big fan, so I left that out. Well, working with HelloFresh was so, so easy. All of the portions were already done for you, so you didn't have to measure anything, you didn't have to weigh anything. It was great HelloFresh take all of the work out of that for you. And with these recipe cards, here's the one, or oh, one of the ones that we've used, you get all the instructions and all the ingredients on them. It's even simpler still, and, you know, dead easy to cook. All of this stuff is really flavoursome, gorgeous and delicious food. I cooked up a meal for my, myself and my wife, and uh, she really liked it as well, so it's something we're definitely going to use in the future. And when you're out on the road, like I am, and I do all the other recording as well, it's very important that you have time to eat, you have time to eat healthily, and this takes literally all of the work out of it for you. Now, if you want to order HelloFresh yourself, I've got a little something for you. If you have a look at this discount code on the screen here, uh, this will give you 60% off your first box, plus free desserts for life. And I think also they'll give you a discount on uh, future boxes for the next couple of months as well. If typing is a little bit uh, too much of a pain for you, you've also got the QR code here that's popped up on the screen. You can scan that also. So uh, there you go. Have a go and hope you like it as much as I did. Toodaloo in the uh, face of that atrocity but you look at how it's exploded out and now what's happened you've got Iran uh, carried out this strike against Israel and Israel have proved that when they react it's a bit like hitting a tiny teddy bear with a sledgehammer you know and it is a worry what they're going to do next and how far they will go some of the media spin that I've been uh, reading, you think, my God. And then what will happen after that? You know, when you look at these cultures, and you, you look at the way they behave, you know, I'm led to believe they are very much an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. If you hit me with one brick, I'm going to hit you with six. That seems to be the way of things with regard to how they carry out their business. So while Iran have turned around and said, that's it, I personally do wonder whether that is it. And you've got our side turning around and saying, oh, don't let this escalate out of control. It doesn't need to be like this. You don't need, you know, it's, it's all words, isn't it? And what I'm interested in is actions or de-escalation actions really because you could end up with an uncontrollable situation over there which could spill and how many more innocents have to pay the price it's a very nasty situation and I don't think it's helped by the media the way they report it the way they present the facts and the way they make everybody feel it's a miscalculation waiting to happen in my view. Don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Also, uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And if you've got social media, give me a share. Really interested to hear what you have to say about all this. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.